Hey guys, how are you? Should you be concerned about what or which programming language is going to be huge in the next five years? This is something I saw on the interwebs. People are concerned about this. If you are a professional developer or coder, you can pivot from language A to B to C without a problem. So it's irrelevant. It's like being concerned about, as a writer, what pen is going to be popular in five years. Oh my God, is this pen going to be popular? Or is it going to be Bic? Or is it going to be Chic? I don't know, whatever pen manufacturers are out there. You get the idea. Don't be concerned about what language is popular or not in the next five years. What you should be doing now, concentrate on your fundamentals, then look around at the job market, see what the jobs are like, see what's out there. You want to learn your fundamental first before you start looking at jobs. Why? Because, because right now as a beginner, if you are a beginner, you don't really understand what you're getting yourself into as a coder. You don't know what it means to be a Java coder versus a C-sharp coder versus a JavaScript coder. There are differences. There are differences in terms of the type of work you would do. There are differences in the type of companies you work for. For example, in Java, C Sharp, typically, not always the case, but typically you'd be working for very large organizations, think big banks or something. And um, so you'd be working on a lot of older systems, legacy systems. You'd be working on projects that might take one or two years to complete. Whereas on the other hand, if you were doing PHP projects, you'd probably be doing a lot of small business projects, a lot of uh, little gigs that will be done in two to three weeks, if not just a week or two. It's a different type of development, a different type of lifestyle. When you're working for a very large organization, it's a totally different lifestyle if you're working for a small startup or you're freelancing. Now, whether you work for a large business or a small business, whether you're doing Java or PHP or Python, not one is necessarily better than the other. It's circumstantial. A, what do you want to do? B, the type of the business that you're working for. You have some businesses that it's just fun to work with or work for, and other places not so fun. So again, to recap, do you need to be concerned about what language is going to explode in popularity in five years? No, it's irrelevant if you're a professional developer. Here's the other point. Languages have plateaued, technologies have plateaued in the development space. What does that mean? Meaning the difference between a Python and a PHP and a JavaScript, it's all job specific and things have not really changed much, I would say, in terms of development over the last maybe 10 years. It's pretty static in terms of the languages and libraries and the frameworks. It's pretty static stuff. It's iterations, variations on old themes that have been around a long time. If you look at the top 10 most popular languages today, C, C++, Java, JavaScript, PHP, SQL, well, SQL is not a programming language, but it's a, it's a coding language, et cetera, et cetera. These are all languages that have been around for 25 years, 30 years, and they're not going anywhere. Why aren't they going anywhere? Because the languages and the technologies that we use to build software these days have pretty much plateaued in terms of their effic uh, efficiencies and their capabilities. Back in the 90s, when I was, uh, when I started developing, when I started writing code back in the early 90s, Yes, in those days, you saw a lot of changes, a lot of radical changes, because it was still early, early days in terms of the life cycle of uh, software development. Still relatively early days, especially when it came to the web. Web was so new. Well, web was new. So things changed quite a bit because people in the industry were still trying to figure out how to approach it. So every six months, well, every year or so, depending, something new would come out which was significant, but that all changed, I would say, around 2012. 2012, I think, it was the last big change in the software development world where HTML5 started to really dominate and uh, Flash got uh, killed by Steve Jobs. And um, well, Steve Jobs killed Flash in 2010. But uh, yeah, that is basically it. So don't be so concerned about the new hot language or what language is going to be popular in five years for reasons I just outlined. If you want to learn more, you like the idea of being mentored by somebody who's been in the game for 28 years. Uh, I teach you how to be professional software developers. I don't just teach you how to code. 